I want to say a couple of solid things first about Tony Khan. Number one, I'm thankful that the wrestling business has him. Because as annoying and dorky and dopey and insecure as he can be sometimes, and he certainly is all of that and more, it's great to have a second major North American professional wrestling company. That is not a small deal. That is a significant thing that everybody benefits from. TV networks benefit from having another program that can draw some type of viewership number. The wrestling talent benefits from having more places to go ply and practice their craft, more places competing for their services, meaning more chances to make more money, potentially leveraging one against the other. Also the flexibility of, hey, if I don't like it here, I can go somewhere else and still have a major platform to perform to employ my trade. It's fantastic, right? It sure is. And obviously it's great for the fans too. Especially if you really love wrestling and you can't get enough of it and you want more, more, more. Well, by God, Tony Khan's come in and given you more, more, more. It's great. It's also great that you've got somebody with major resources behind him. So you can envision it being something that's around for a long time. Because if the company loses a little bit of money for a year, for five years, for 10, like at some point in time, you got to be able to turn a profit to be a viable business. But in the moment, like, have the ability to absorb some of those losses and not feel too bad about doing so, right? And also with Tony Khan, the dude just has a tremendous amount of freaking energy. I cannot understand, understate that enough. Is I know people will point to that being other things and they'll make jokes about it, but the dude inherently Loves professional wrestling, you can tell. He has a passion for it. He has an appetite for it. A desire for it. And I think I've said it before and I'll say it again. When it comes to Tony Khan, if all of us could be as passionate about our life's work, about our lives, as Tony Khan is, we'd probably be much better off in our lives, full stop, period. Where it starts to jump the shark, though, is not just, you know, the Meltzer Magoo crap and his fucking fanboys sitting there and every year voting for Tony Khan, Booker of the Year. It's the people that sit there and talk about how Tony Khan is a wrestling genius. Humbug your ass! Tony Khan is a wrestling genius? Look, damn it, I get why a lot of people don't like WWE even though they still watch it. I get why a lot of people don't like Vince McMahon as they shouldn't. I get why people like the thought of being counterculture or being different from WWE and have something of their own that they could be there for from the ground level from day fucking one and attach their attitude or you know, themselves to that product. I get all of that. But this Tony Khan is a wrestling genius shit just needs to cut the fuck out. Like, we throw a little shade here. Let's be real. Tony Khan has benefited massively from nepotism in his life and to pretend like he fucking has it would be insane. How many people with his resources and the opportunities that his resources have afforded him could do the same thing or a similar thing or perhaps even a little bit better than Tony Khan is doing right now? The answer is far more people than any of these hardcore like fucking con cult of personality clowns would want to admit. He's got a ton of money behind him, a ton of money that he inherited. 
that he's been able to get as a part of who his dad is. Like, I mean, that's the American way, I suppose, right? It's not just about what you can do. It's about who you know and who they can screw to give back to you. That's the American way. But if he was such a fucking genius, why would a Cody Rhodes who was there since day one who had reality shows and everything else give all of that up to go back to WWE? Sure, WWE gave him a boatload of money, promised him a future world title run. We know all that shit to be true. But at the end of the day, he could be not only a top talent, but an EVP make his own way and he couldn't wait to get the hell out of Dodge. I'm sorry, but if Tony Khan was such a wrestling genius, I hardly doubt that Cody Rhodes would have left. To which I say, then you look at the CM Punk situation, you'd say, if he was such a wrestling genius, I doubt that CM Punk, as much of a punk ass as he could be sometimes, and a prickly person, and an unhappy malcontent as he could be, I doubt he would have been as unhappy of a malcontent there in AEW if Tony Khan was truly a wrestling genius like a lot of people like to make him out to be. Also, I look at the product of AEW, and I'd say, if he's such a wrestling genius, how come more people don't watch his television programming? Enough of the excuses about No, we are talking about AEW and AEW fucking alone. Stop deflecting. Stop what about isming. Start focusing on AEW and AEW alone. Fuck what anybody else is doing. Their first ever show, they had 1.5 million viewers or somewhere around there, did they not? A few years later, they're averaging around 800, 850 ish thousand viewers a week. And you can say, well, the first ever episode, obviously, the viewership was going to be higher. But even over the past couple of years, they've managed to drive away about 20 to 30 percent of their fucking television audience. Collision's performance isn't great. Rampage's sure as hell isn't great. You can blame cord cutting and all the other bullshit you want to. But the reality is, if you make good programming, eventually people are going to find it. He's not making good programming. That's why people continue to go click, click, click. And they're tuning the shit out. That wouldn't happen if he was a wrestling genius. If he was a wrestling genius... How come more people don't go to his live events? I know you're going to bring up All In in London, and that was a great thing, right? It was a great thing for the company. It was a great thing for professional wrestling. It was a great thing for everybody involved. I hope they're able to get the same attendance this next year. Let's keep it going. But that's the exception to the rule. The general rule seems to be now is AEW's having trouble drawing in a lot of places, and these are in smaller events, mind you. These aren't fi- all 15, 20,000 seat arenas. These are more of the secondary arenas, the five to 8,000 seat jobs, where they're still tarping off sections, and they still can't figure up, fill up the sections that they don't. That doesn't sound like a wrestling genius. With the platform that he has for AEW, the television deal with Warner Brothers Discovery, the number of shows that they have, they can't draw more people in person. That's no indication of genius. If he was a real genius, we would see him making a whole bunch of new big stars and that shit just isn't happening. You watch his television product, and you've got more and more people talking about, yeah, it was okay. Like, even the ones you would expect to really defend it. It's not the same. They're not even pushing back the same. So that hardest of hardcore fan base that he's appealing to, which was a dumb play to begin with, because if you're not growing your audience and growing your customer base, eventually you're fucking dying. 
He can't even draw in the same number of the hardest of hardcore fans that he used to. So I'm glad AEW exists. I'm glad Tony Khan is around for this pet project. I'm thankful that he has the energy that he does. But he bought the ROH name, the brand, the video library, and what the fuck has he done with it? Other than dilute his own AEW television product by freaking showing ROH shit and having AEW Dynamite where you're having somebody defend the ROH TV title or some shit. Like, what the fuck? That's stupid. So humbugged all this bullshit about Tony Khan being a wrestling genius. If he was truly a genius, the results would be better. We can both be thankful that he exists, be thankful for AEW, be around, and call shit like it is. Stop worshiping this fucking guy. Stop continuing to cultivate this cult of personality around him. It's fucking weird. He's just a guy that's playing around with daddy's money. He's not some goddamn genius. Stop it.